podium. <laughs> no podium. Okay. All right. I know a lot of us are. Oh, I'm ready. All right. I know a lot of us are lazy. I know a lot of us are procrastinators. But some of us like to get the job done before we actually uh, get the day started. So my uh, quote was. The best preparation for tomorrow is to do today's work superbly. So I'm going to try to explain it as best I can. Um, to me, myself, I kind of like to, uh, like, homework status. I'm not really that big on homework, but I try to do my best at it because when you do your homework, it feels like you've achieved something. So, like, the next day when you wake up, oh, I got it done. It, it feels good, right? So you really don't have that weight on your shoulders. It's kind of like when you set goals for yourself. Um, you try to get things done as well as you can so you can finish those and move on to your next goal. So most of the time, you feel accomplished and you, uh, you kind of create yourself kind of like not a cocky status, but more like, uh, what kind of status is that? I don't know, a good one. Uh, <laughs> All right. Um, And I also like to do like a lot of yard work, so I'll, um, I try to get it done as possible. So the next day, like on Sundays, I see my yard and it looks like perfect. The grass is green, the trees are all cut. And uh, also in the long run, in life terms, you, we all go to school. And we all try to, you know, we're all high school and then we go to college. And we try to get things done as best we can. We try to go to, you know, all of us are going to hopefully graduate from here one day and go on to a college or unless you're just going to get a degree here. But it's, you need to try to work your best as possible because you don't want to be stuck somewhere and then just be like, oh, okay, what it could have, should have, don't mean, mean me now, right? So, and when you're done with everything, it, it kind of like helps you out. So you have a few brighter future, you could have, you have a job, you have you could have kids, you could do all that. So it's, it's kind of like not just like, you know, present tense, like, oh, today I'm going to do everything good today and like tomorrow tomorrow is going to be worked off, but it's caught in the long run, it's just going to all be better for for you, like in a lot in long lifespan. So most of the time, we all we all have that mentality. We all try to keep our heads up on our shoulders. Um, so I try that as best I could. Um, and sometimes I tend to fail, but then sometimes I achieve my goals. So hopefully I'll be better. All right, the goal at the beginning was a little awkward, but the transition to the topic was pretty solid. Uh, there's not really a setup of the, what the content's going to be. Some of the uh, illustrations that you have, once you get to those illustrations, they're pretty distinct, and you do have a little bit of a, an organizational structure when talking about them. I think it could be sharper, but there is something there. On the presentation, you start off with a high level of energy and very animated. By the end of the speech, though, your energy level's dropped off, and it just seems like you've run out of steam. And it, it, I, I'm not saying that you have to be consistently high the whole time through the presentation, but when you get, uh, when, when you're almost maniacal at the beginning and then you are depressed at the end, that just seems like, you know, we've gone off a cliff somewhere and it, I think that takes away a lot from the presentation. Uh, your gestures are good, you're animated and involved there, your facial expressions are good. You're looking at the audience, but I frequently notice 
that even though you're looking in the direction, your eyes are really kind of downcast and you're looking in front of the audience a little bit more than engaging the audience. Uh, your body movements, they're good indicators. Um, the, sometimes the movements seem a little exaggerated, but uh, again, I think that that's where that animation starts in the first part of the speech, and toward the end, it just seems to, again, tail off uh, at the end. I did like the exit line that you had, so even though the conclusion, the delivery was perhaps a little problematic, uh, the, the sentiment and the idea there I thought was effective. All right. I think uh, Madison's going to be our last speaker today, so could somebody just invite her in, please? <laughs> it's a race.